Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna basically be doing a how to start a YouTube channel for the 2024 new year. Also, this is my one year like recap on YouTube. And I'm just gonna like talk about a lot of things that I've like learned, such as like how to get Final Cut Pro for free. And then I'm also gonna show you guys how you guys can start making money with having only 500 subscribers. Yeah, only 500 subs. Um, my current sub count is like 725. Um, this is New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's Eve and happy New Year when you guys do watch this. Hope you guys have a blessed New Year and start that channel. And I'm about to give y'all, I got the whole rundown on how to start the channel. We got ideas, how to attract viewers, and how to get Final Cut Pro for free. So first, we're going to start with some camera recommendations, which is obviously a camera is not a necessity. We pay, what, $1,500 for these phones? Go use your phone. But if you do want to up your game and get that crispier quality, or also, like, the reason why I didn't film on my phone and I just went straight to getting a camera was simply because I do not have storage. Maybe my phone can't even take pictures. So a camera was 100% needed. Some camera recommendations I have are the Canon G7X, which is what I do film on, or the Sony ZV-1, something like that. But for the camera, Canon G7X, I would say is that um, get a wide camera lens, or even for the Sony, I don't think they like come with wide camera, but definitely look into getting a wide camera lens. It makes your like filming like show more rather than it being like so up close and personal you know what i'm saying so definitely look into that and then also some more equipment is getting a good quality tripod so you can set it up bend it move it around like wherever you go um also what i 100 percent recommend and i was struggling with this when i first started filming was get an external hard drive i'm not so good at it so i can go show you guys but get an external hard drive because if you are like editing on a macbook y'all macbook storage is like nothing so you need an external hard drive so that when you're done editing you can just move that edited clip because like you can have a video for like an hour long video you want to move that hour long video to the external hard drive so that you can just save as much storage on here because sometimes it won't even let you export that video so having that external hard drive is like a real big lifesaver and also another like equipment based thing um, it's also getting a I'll also put a picture up of everything I'm talking about and it's like you put your SD card in it And you attach it to the side of your computer iPad phone or whatever you're editing on and You can just get like easy access to like whatever you filmed rather than having to like plug up your camera and do all the extra stuff Like I'm trying to make y'all I'm trying to make this process as easy as possible for y'all. Okay, next we have our editing software recommendations I'm going to tell you what I started off with. I started off with iMovie. iMovie is already on my MacBook. I'm familiar with it. I did all my school projects with iMovie. iMovie is what I started off with. And then what I did was I went to um, CapCut. CapCut, a lot of people are using that now, especially for like TikTok and all that. Um, and if you're familiar with it, definitely try it out. I currently use that now and I love CapCut. Like everything's so easy. Like everything's there. And then the last thing is Final Cut Pro. So let me tell y'all about Final Cut Pro. So I did use Final Cut Pro and I had did the 90 day free trial, right? And I'm like, okay, like this is cool. Like Final Cut Pro is cool. And I'm like, okay, nine days is over. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get Final Cut Pro indefinitely for free. Um, so basically I'm gonna link the like the guy that I watch on YouTube um, because it's like really it's not really like difficult but he shows exactly like with pictures and stuff and that will take up a whole video to do but I'll put the link in the description box but basically you just go on like terminal on your MacBook and you like copy this transcript that he put in his comment section and you put it into terminal and then you keep doing that every 90 days and 90 days is a long time so that's basically what I did and that's how I got it for free um, and I just kept you doing that and I did Final Cut Pro for about like six months and it wasn't even that it was a hassle like keep using terminal to like keep you know putting the transcript in terminal to get it for free but I just felt like Final Cut Pro wasn't like 
it wasn't really worth it and final cut pro takes up a lot of storage so i felt like it wasn't worth it for me low key so i just stuck to cap cut because less storage taken up from my computer and it also like everything was right there i could just like drag and drop like the the titles that they have they already have preset titles final cut pro doesn't really have that like the christmas setting but cap cut does i like cap cut but if you want to test out final cut pro and see if you like it and not have to pay it's like 200 or one nine 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 nine. I don't know. It's it's a lot of money, and I wasn't paying that for no editing software. So I just used that little hack and definitely try it out. But do that nine day trial first, and then go link to the video that I told you guys about. Now, before we start getting into the nitty gritty, we're gonna just say the basics on how to get paid on YouTube. And I'm basically gonna break it down to you guys on the different type of ways that you can get paid on YouTube. The first way to get paid on YouTube is it's a recent update. Um, you're able to get paid on YouTube with 500 subscribers. Um, with that being said, you have to have 500 subscribers post three videos within like the last 90 days and then you have to have um 3,000 watch time hours so you're able to make money with 500 subs guys 500 subs and with that being said you have to have like what what you have access to whenever you get that reach that goal of 500 subs and 3,000 watch time hours um you're able to promote your own products on shopping which you know how people get paid on like shopify and stuff like that you have like a shopify like link basically through youtube and then you also have fan funding features like memberships and there's a lot of people who say that they make more money from those memberships and also tips so like if somebody really likes your video they can like give you like a ten dollar tip and like people like are just being general generous and like you can just keep stacking that bread keep stacking that bread and they'll like give you tips especially if like um, a video is really helpful but, but oh here's like a five dollar tip and that starts adding up starts adding up the way is once you like reach surpass that goal the next goal is getting a thousand um subscribers and then getting four thousand watch time hours but you're already halfway there so it's like you know keep going to the next goal and with that you're able to get um revenue sharing from ads and then like youtube premium so typically you get more the most amount of money you get it from is like ads um but some people say they think they get more money from like people like subscribing to a membership or people like giving them tips so it all just depends but money is money five dollars is better than nothing so like being able to hit that 500 is like a really good goal and you can start making that money and they'll give you like that drive to like keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. The next we have are once you like make your channel and you're like, okay, like I'm ready. I know my goal is you're like, okay, um, you know, how do I attract viewers? Like when I post my first video, like what, what do I do? Like how do I get people to click on my video when I only have zero subscribers? So the first thing I have, which is the biggest thing ever that I've learned throughout this year on YouTube, is thumbnails. Make your thumbnails as aesthetically pleasing, Pinterest-y, vibey, up with the trends. Like, okay, like I said, the, the trend right now is bows. Get some pink bows. Like, literally make it look so pretty. Like, just whenever you're out, let's say you're doing a day in the life with me, you're going to the mall. Take those pictures of, like, the cute, you know, like, of Lululemon. Take a picture of that. Thumbnails are are your first impressions that people see. So they're like, okay, why do I want to click on this video? Like, ooh, like, her hair looks cute. Let me click on her video. I'm going to see, like, how she got it done. Or, ooh, she's going Lululemon. I want to see, like, her haul Lululemon. Like, I'm interested in Lululemon. So just make sure that the pictures are clear, good quality, you know, and and just make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Next with the whole thumbnail is have general titles. Um, Don't have, oh, I'm going to the mall with Aunt Susie for New Year's. Like, don't say that. Like, you can, but, like, when you're building your, you know, you're trying to build your audience, people aren't going to know who Aunt Susie is. So, when you're a smaller creator, you want to have, like, general titles and say, day in the life. Like, that's a general title. Anybody can use it. Anybody big or small. And, like, that's, like, going to, like, that's in the search engine, in the search history. You're able to click that and, like, look at your videos. So, general titles birthday vlog 20th birthday vlog 19th birthday vlog don't say 20th birthday vlog um like just don't make it too specific just make it general like yeah yeah you know what i'm saying okay okay and then also i just want to like put this out there it's kind of general but as i've like been learning throughout like you know on my youtube like content creator journey i feel like youtube is a big investment with that being said 
you're gonna have to get up and you might gotta spend a little money on that five dollar dunkin cup to make it look aesthetically pleasing like nobody wants to see you sit in a house all day and what i will say is as a small creator nobody wants to see you sit in a house all day because like we're getting to know you i know you're like well such and such is sitting in the house and they're not doing anything they already made a name for themselves so they're gonna watch them regardless but as you are a small creator they don't know you they don't know who you are so they want to see you go out you know go shopping go get your hair done so it's an investment you're gonna have to book that hair appointment to have a maintenance prep like that's like something that a lot of people like to watch so go out there and i feel like it's also a good thing for yourself you know being on youtube has pushed me to want to go do things like nine times out of ten i would want to just lay out, lay in bed not do anything but i'd be like oh i gotta get out of the video today let me just get up you know go work out let me get up go walk my dog let me get up go to the mall hang out with friends like i feel like youtube has really like forced me to want to do a lot of things um throughout this journey rather than just sit at home and like not be productive youtube you're gonna spend a lot of money um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but I just would say, like I said, you know, they want to see you doing stuff. And in this day and age, when you step outside that house, you're already blowing money. When you breathe that air, you're already blowing money. But like, seriously, y'all, like, it's an investment, but it's going to come back once you reach that goal. So just keep on pressing. And then also is... You're probably like, okay, what type of videos? I'm going to give you guys a list of videos at the end of like some ideas. But basically, it's what I would say is go look at your favorite um, YouTubers and you have to stay on top of the trends. So if the trend right now is do a whole bunch of day in the lives, film a day in the life. If the trend, like if it's back to school season, film a back to school video. If it's Christmas time, film a Christmas prep with me. You have to just stay on top of those trends. Like whatever season you're in, stay on top of those trends. Winter prep, fall prep, just stay on top of those trends. And I know it can get kind of repetitive and annoying. Like you want to branch out and do your own thing. But as you're like building your your platform, you want to just stay on top of those trends. Because that's like one of the biggest ways that will help, you know, your viewers like find you. But once you do get that platform, then you can start to slowly branch off and do more things to your niche that you want to do. So I would just say like a general tip is whenever you make a post, you have to think like, why would somebody click on this? Like your, your end goal should be I'm helping someone, whether it be you're helping them for entertainment, you're helping them for a tutorial, you're helping them, you know, to get ideas like if you do a car tour like if somebody's looking to buy that specific car the end goal of you posting is to help someone you know through something like you have to have an end goal on why am i doing this you can't just be doing this for like the money you can't just be doing this because you want to look at yourself every single day you want to have fame like you know you have to have like that reason on why you're doing that if you want to be a christian based um youtuber that's your reason to spread the word of christ if you want to be like a, a student athlete and you want to show like a day in the life of people who are interested in being a student athlete at that specific school you have to have a reason on why people will want to follow you on your journey or a reason on why you know people will want to click on that specific video now we have how to promote once you kind of got the how you had the thumbnails you got how to like attract the viewers you made it really aesthetically pleasing you have a general title now once you make that video you have to figure out how to promote it and obviously the biggest way is you have to promote it yourself go on your instagram i know it can be embarrassing if you're like what are they gonna say nobody is caring like nine times out of ten the people may actually be interested in like what you're posting post it on your instagram post it on your snapchat have your mommy, have your daddy post it, anybody post it, just so you can get those like viewers like when you're when you're new. Like just keep on, you know, promoting it so that anybody can watch it. One viewer is better than none. And that is one step closer to like your goal of getting monetized and creating that platform. Next thing for like how to promote your video is TikTok. Y'all, it is so easy to blow up on TikTok, like especially because you can upload like so many like little 15-minute videos. Um, especially do like a little tutorial like if you perfected like thumbnails make a tutorial on tiktok on how to do that thumbnail and then you're going to get attention of people who of creators and people just like going to support you because you help them out so they're going to help you out um but i feel like what you could get a little lost in that is the whole sub for sub thing 
I wouldn't really recommend that because you're not creating a like a genuine audience that's just people subscribing just so that you can do that back but if people genuinely subscribe to you because like you help them out or they're interested in your channel like that's cool but like i would advise to stay away from the whole sub for sub thing but still tiktok in general promote on tiktok post little dumps post damn my lives and then like have your youtube like in your caption just TikTok, bro. Like, a lot of creators start on TikTok, too, before jumping to YouTube. But me, personally, I'm not really, like, a TikTok girl. Like, I'll post, like, pictures here and there or, like, funny videos. But I just don't really like TikTok. I don't really be on social media, like, heavy, heavy. I really just be on YouTube. So I kind of just be getting out the mud on YouTube and just promoting on my Instagram and stuff like that and, like, TikTok sometimes. But if I were to advise somebody, definitely post on TikTok, like, 100% that helps like boost your videos like get you a lot of um like subscribers like in no time if i'm being honest we got y'all the rundown i'm gonna give you guys a little bit more general tips just to like help you guys you know on how to start this channel obviously be yourself please don't fake it y'all like people will un like people will see it through that screen like just be yourself like if you stutter it's okay you can edit it out just be yourself like, be funny, be goofy, like, don't be like, hey guys, I like, don't do that influencer voice. Like, just be yourself, be your everyday life, show your everyday life. It doesn't matter if your apartment is not glamorous, it doesn't matter if your car is not glamorous. Like, none of that matters. Like, we're watching this channel for you, not for what you have. So, don't worry about just because you don't have what the next person has doesn't mean you can't start that channel like it does not matter just start it and be yourself and when you're being yourself be confident in it be confident show your room show your room transformation be confident in what you do have like be confident throughout the screen like that confident exudes like when people are watching it and they'll be like dang she loves herself maybe i should love myself too so like be yourself and just be confident and you know and if you're if you're having a bad day don't force yourself to film it people can feel the vibes like you know every, not everybody has good days so just like put the camera down for that day try again tomorrow pick it up when you're in a better mood so that your viewers aren't like what's wrong with her um but yeah also when you're just starting you need to be uploading two to three times a week i know it sounds a lot but you're just gonna have to like you're gonna have to put in the work now so that you can like chillax a little bit later you're gonna have to just like push that content out like it's you're like you're new to it so you have like a lot of things you can film if we're being honest so it's really not as hard like you have a lot of ideas a lot of like creative juices flowing you can just keep filming keep editing and like keep putting it out there so people can see your name like it's like they're going to be like i've seen her on my recommended list like 50 times let me just click on her I just gotta keep posting and like every video that I post I get a cool like five subscribers every single video so if you keep posting two to three times a week it them five subscribers is gonna keep stacking keep stacking keep stacking until you get to your goal so like you have to be consistent and you cannot stop just keep going like just keep trying like what's the point of giving up like if you see that you're getting you know you're improving you're improving why are you going to stop just because you're not hitting your goal within that time frame you want that doesn't that doesn't mean you're not you know where you're supposed to be at as long as you're improving that's all that matters as long as you're putting out that content good content content that you enjoy that you like to film then there should be no problems another general tip i want to say is to have a business email in your bio um i would say this because when i had like a hundred subscribers i still would get companies emailing me to hey q um you know promote my sunglasses for a free pair of like sunglasses and as being a small creator take that like don't expect to be like oh my pay rate is 20 an hour like you know don't do all that like just be like okay sure like you know you're growing you're learning you're like new to this like be like sure like i'll promote if you give it to me for free in exchange for like you know i'll put it in my youtube video which is really nothing like you just put it in a youtube video um and promote it a little bit for like exchange of a free like pair of sunglasses free clothes so i recommend have a business email strictly for like youtube and business um also plan out your like content days like we're starting in the new year if you want to start now be like 
okay, I'm going to be doing X, Y, and Z. I'm filming this day. I'm going to edit this day. It's going to be posted this day. Or even if that's a little too like strict for you, you're more like freelance, at least have the content that you want to film. Like have like in January, I want to film a prep with me. I want to film a birthday vlog. I want to film a reset, Sunday reset. Like have them like, like so you can see them and know like this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to clear my schedule for so that I can make sure I have time to film and edit this. Also, I just want to talk about like a background just a little bit. We're almost done on like how I start. Started. I started last year and my first video was in November and it was my birthday prep with me and it's right now at almost like 10,000 views that was my first video on YouTube and it hit 10,000 views um that's a lot and honestly when I posted that first video and I got a lot of like attention and like even the like nice comments saying keep going like I'm, I'm excited for your journey it like really like I was just doing it for fun because I always love watching YouTube and I just posted it for fun and I didn't think I, I didn't think that I would like take this seriously but like once I got that engagement it just pushed me to keep doing more and all it takes is one video y'all like I still haven't really had a video hit that high yet like I have some with 3,000 1,000 but I haven't got that high yet and it's been a year but like I'm still like here I'm still pushing still like you know improving every single day um, but all it takes is that one video that one video that will help start your whole process so just keep going like just keep putting out them videos until that one video just blows up and you're gonna like after that one video you're really gonna hit that monetization mark either one the 500 or a thousand one like you're definitely going to hit once you get like that 10 or 20k view video because it's going to keep growing like every single time and also what i've learned is that a lot of videos grow over time you post it tomorrow it may not hit its full potential until like a month later like i was just looking and the car video i posted is at like 2,000 views right now i posted that like two months ago and i'm like what the heck why is my like why is my youtube clicking and like so you never know like you know just keep posting keep being consistent all it takes is that one but yeah just like a little quick timeline if you know you're a little curious like i said i started in november i feel like it was easy for me i was had like a lot of like content ideas i had birthday prep birthday vlog right and then i started in december and then you have like vlogmas like i'm on break meaning that i have a lot more free time out of school that i could just get a lot of content out so I would recommend, you can start anytime, but I would definitely, if you were like looking for a time frame, maybe like Christmas break, spring break, or summer break, when your schedule is completely clear, so that you have as much time to like prep out content, film, and edit it. I'm just gonna run through a few um, video ideas just to get your like, you know, motivation, jogging, your brain flowing, uh, and this is like what I like. Um, so we have, we have prep with me, we have a day in the life, um, hair video tutorials. If you're good at something, post a tutorial. Baking, cooking, anything, room tour. Show a collection of something you have. I did a shoe collection, has like 3,000 views right now. Um, clothing hauls, a car tour, a Q&A, birthday prep, birthday vlog, day in the life D1 edition, um, college day in the life. Like just anything, post anything. Okay, y'all, so that is the end of this video. Um, please start that channel, guys. Overall, being like being a YouTuber has honestly like changed my life. Um, I know it sounds like super cliche, but it's just like something really fun to do. Like I enjoy picking up the camera. I enjoy documenting my life, like for me and like family and friends to see. And then also like my subscribers, like they're always so nice. Um, and it's just like fun, guys. Like it's really fun. Being able to see like you know your channel growing and seeing people to interact with you it's also really fun and exciting um so definitely start that channel in 2024 y'all y'all have the whole book a whole free ebook for y'all to start that channel if you guys have any comments or questions please feel free to let me know in the comments dm me on instagram if you guys really want some like you know questions i want me to ask and thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking with me on my year recap and i'll see you guys in 2024 and i better see y'all start that channel okay and comment y'all channel so i'm gonna subscribe and watch period but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys and happy new year 24 7 with the 411 when you see me now like cabinet call a reverend